you up there? What's this look? Are we on camera? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Morning. How are you? This is my drivers, look, I've got two drivers here. Look, there's John, the senior driver. Look, he's the senior driver. And there's the junior driver behind him. Look, there's Alan. Um, and we're just setting up today. Look, it's Saturday. What's the date today? What's the date? 14th. Is it the 14th? No, it's the 15th. Saturday the 15th of uh, November, 2014. This is uh, Hull's very own sightseeing land train. We call it HU1, because it runs round HU1. And we're getting ready, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're getting ready for taking it out. Uh, well, we're going to survey the area first because the weather's a bit damp and a bit foggy, a bit misty. So we're going to get the train all ready for going out. And then uh, we're going to go have a little ride round to see on, in car to see if, uh, see what the uh, see what the weather's like. Are you with me? Yeah, my name's Mallywell then. Uh, I'm 56 years of age. I feel like a 30 year old. Love life, mm. love it. Absolutely love what I'm doing. Born and bred in Hull, on the famous Hesel Road. Uh, mm. Born into the fishing community. One of eight lads, uh, a twin. Children jobs from the age of uh, seven to the age of 10. And then children's on uh, proof schools. Mm. Uh, proof schools till the age of 14. Coming back to the flock, 14 and a half, mm -hmm. and then out on the streets at 15. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And then uh, that gets you down the wrong roads in life. Been down the wrong roads a few times. Uh, when I was in the pro school, I loved it in the pro school. So I, I got trials for York City, Leeds United as, uh, as, as a goalkeeper. You know, big potential. In the pro school, you got three meals a day. You did your, your fitness, your PE and all like that, you know. And I was I was this size when I came out of a, out of a pro school, so yeah. I stood out like the sore thumb. <laughs> and the school bully picked on me and I beat the school bully, then you get yourself a reputation. And the next thing you know, all the other school bullies are looking for you and, and you know, you, you, you know, I'm not proud of the fact that you'd knock them out in one go, do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, I never used to think, never used to, you know, I just boof. After dark, no, no presents. After dark, no presents. Don't go. Yeah. Go on, Chris. Uh, right then, how's the actual period been for you then? Well, this period, this yeah. period of Christmas, it's been absolutely fantastic. It, with it being the first year, it be, uh, the first year, uh, we we ran from the, I think it was from the 12th of December for uh, 13, 13 days, then, isn't it? That's what it or was it 14 days? 14 no. days. 14 days we were running, didn't we? 14 days. And believe you me, the first 
seven days, the first five days, we never even took expenses, do you know what I mean? We have to, we, we relied on Saturday and Sunday to pay for Monday, Tuesday, mm. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Ready for Christmas. Um, we're just getting getting it all uh, graphics gra graphics up. Is that the word? Graphics. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're getting Merry Christmas on there. And we're getting the stockings on here. You're going to see Santa Claus arriving on his sledge on here. You're going to see ball bells on here. And my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend Sally, who's doing the cleaning <laughs> job as well, she oh, yeah. designed it all, right? <laughs> And uh, you're going to see Santa Claus looking through the window I've there. I've got to be in. Another stocking, and then you see all the presents on the back there. And then on here, Don, you're going to get Merry Christmas on here. Stockings on here. And then you're going to see Santa Claus actually in the house looking at the present list. This is all going to happen on Wednesday, the, uh, the 15th, no, 16th, 17th, 18th, about the 19th. Four bells on here, four bells on there. And then you're going to see Santa leaving on his sledge in his left. Are you with me? So we? it's a picture story, you know. Yeah. And then when you go inside, it's all going to be decked out, all nice. Do you know what I mean? So that's all. That's what we're doing for Christmas. That's the plan for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, my name's Malliwell there. Uh, I'm 56 years of age. I feel like a 30 year old. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, born and bred in Hull on the famous Hesel Road, uh, mm. born into the fishing community. My dad was a fisherman. Uh, the, uh, the community was the fishing industry, right. the fishing industry on Hesel Road. Uh, everybody that knew everybody was was based around the fishing industry. Whether you, whether you, if you didn't go to, if you didn't go on the trawlers, you worked on the fish docks. Mm -hmm. If you didn't work on the fish docks, you worked in the fish factories. It was all mm. it was all a big community. What age did you start? Fishing, fifteen and a half. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, when uh, my dad had a policy that when you was fifteen, uh, you was out on the streets and you defended for yourself and yeah. slept on the fish docks for uh, six months uh, of, of my life. Been through a bit of shit in life, do you know what I mean? Been through the other end, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, my mother couldn't cope with uh, with eight children after the loss of her only daughter in a fire. She lost oh, her daughter in a fire. My dad wanted to drink her at the time, and uh, I wasn't born then. Mm -hmm. She would have been the third oldest. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she was expecting twins, and, and mm -hmm. first born of the twins was, was me, Mally. I'll go first, I'll get in there. Yeah, yeah, let me yeah. go, let me get in there, do you <laughs> know what I mean? I, I'll step out first, and and then as soon as I've, 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 I've felt rejection all from my childhood and all for that, um, because my dad neglected me, he didn't want me, you know, all, all that shit. Mm. Uh, terrible upbringing, terrible, terrible. Forced, forced fed on lambs, navy, rum, and to be the, the, the life and soul of the party, of your dad's party, to stand up and entertain all the others, etc. Mm. And I was I was this size when I came out of a, out of a pro school, so yeah. I stood out like the sore thumb, <laughs> and the school bully picked on me and I beat the school bully, then you get yourself a reputation. Yeah. And, and the next thing you know, all the other school bullies are looking for you, and, and you know, you, you, you know, I'm not proud of the fact that you'd knock them out in one go, do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, I never used to think, never used to, you know, I was just boof. Yeah. And, you get, and, and then you got yourself a reputation. You know, yeah, the yeah. age of 40, I changed my life around at the age of 40. I was an asshole right up to the age of really? 40. Oh, asshole, asshole. I lost everything, all through alcohol, all through really? boozing. I, I was waking up to it, drinking it, you know, going out, scrapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. From there uh, to the age of 30, the fishing industry collapsed, you know. Right. Um, and, and I lost my marriage full drink, mm. beautiful woman. Um, and you know, in a pub, and somebody tapping your woman up, and somebody saying to you, you know, is your name Molly Welbin? Do you think you can fight it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I used to say, listen, I don't like hospital food, and I don't like prison food, but one of us will taste either one of them. Yeah. And I always tasted the prison food. You know, I, I, I've lost 25, 30 years of my life, mm. you know what I mean, through, through a drink. And it was at, only at the age of 40 when my me, me daughter got two daughters. She said, Dad, you're gonna you're gonna end up in prison or you're gonna end up killing somebody, you're gonna lose everything. I'll throw your bows. Raise your chest, head! Head up against your chest, head! Raise, raise your chest, head! To your right, to your right. Hard over. 
to your right. Harder, 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 harder. Oh. No, no, stop. Just go back to your straight. Right, enough of that. Come harder. What? Nowhere near. Stop there. What? Nowhere near. What? We are nowhere near. What are you telling us now? We are nowhere near because we pushed it too far into the wall and hard over. We were absolutely nowhere near. Oh, look at me now. Oh, look at me now, Alan. Lost for words. Yeah, lost for words. I don't know what I really need to say. Well, dare I ask what it's like working with everyone? <laughs> uh, not on camera. <laughs> right now, really? <laughs> not on camera. He'll tell you exactly what it's like working with Ellie. <laughs> hey, listen, though. Tell him, Alan. It's a lot of fun. Tell him, Alan. Um, you just got to get on with it. What Mally says in the moment of the time. Don't take it for granted. Take just, yeah, just take note of it. Take Go on with the job. Don't head down. Um, well, actually, head up today and wave a lot. <laughs> he's a top man, is Alan. Seriously, he's a top man. Top man. He he's really certainly is. tested with driving skills today. <laughs> really? Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. This is the Polar Express. This one is the Polar Express. Um, let me just tell you something, let me just tell you something. I have been working for Father Christmas, for Father Christmas, for four years. Four years I've been working for him, and I haven't stopped, right? Four years. And for every year you work for Santa Claus, you get in here. There's one. The second year, two. The third year, three. There it is there, looks stuck on me head. And the other one is stuck on the back there. Do you know what that's on the back for, Nana? Do you know what that's on the back for, Grandma? So I can hear people talking behind me back. You yeah, can hear you. Right, listen, boys and girls, Santa Claus is coming now. Get ready, won't you? Right? Santa Claus is coming. Hey, do, do me a favour, do me a favour. When he says, have you been naughty, or have you been nice, I want you all to say, I've been naughty. Yeah! Do it. Have you been naughty or nice, children? <laughs> One, two, three, here comes Santa! Christmas? Yes. Yes. Are we ready for Christmas? Yes. yes. That didn't sound very convincing. <laughs> One more question. Have you been good? No. No, nobody's been good. Okay, I'll get off then. Right. Okay, try again. Have you been good? Yes. Would you like a Christmas present? Yes. Would you like a Christmas present? Yes. Let's say the same as the last one. Okay then. Christmas present. There we go. Have I missed Thank anybody? You. Have I missed anybody? Right, half the three. So we can do the half this. One, two, go, three. Christmas <laughs> present. Come on, there's Christmas present for open. Come on, come on, Christmas time. Not for five days away. That's it. Come on, I need to do half of them. Come on, the limit. Oh, oh wow. Marvelous. What have you got? A train! A train! Marvellous! Is that a good well, Christmas present? Well, well, there's somebody to meet you. Somebody Marvellous. I've got to go. See you on a Christmas. Be good. Bye-bye. Sorry, sorry. This is This will be on the fishing chips. Who's on the fishing chips? Is that all right, Harry? Ben, is that all right? Harry, was that all right? Thanks, John. Oh, was that all right, Harry? Did you like that? Well, while I was in the derelict building, um, and I had a, I had, I didn't have no electricity, but got it all put on and all running water, and I had this out of date computer now, and I was, and I was thinking, what the fuck's life all about? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You try and do something with your life. Uh, the bailiffs come in and, and going to take the computer off me, and they said, uh, I said, can I just have a check see if I've got any emails? And I clicked on it. Said, dear Mally, this is Endermol, the makers of Big Brother. There's a new game show coming out called Deal and Our Deal. We think you're suitable for it. Oh, you know. So I went for the audition for Deal and Our Deal and I got on. I got on yeah, 2005, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Yeah, seriously, uh, unbelievable. I'd gone from a derelict building and when I'd gone there, I told them my story. You know what I mean? I said, listen, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get my 
business off the ground. Really bad, it's like a box like that. One. <laughs> but I carried the box like that when my name came out, yeah. and I was the first man to carry the book a million pounds to the table. I had it in the box. Really? Yeah, I was the first man in 2005. Check it out. Oh, oh, man, absolutely love the whole years of doing it. It's been doing now. Mm. And then I came up with this idea of having the little hands there and getting this, saw this vision there. Yeah. And I saw it and I thought, well, that's a good idea. Mm. You know what I mean? But, and then I went to go see a few people. I said, hey, I've, I've the thought of uh, a little land train in the in the old bid. Mm. So, well, what's a land train? What, what do you mean? Mm. I said, well, you're going to have City of Culture. Have you thought of the the yellow submarine like the Beatles? Do you know what mm. I mean? Taking people all the way around on, on this little wacky little train. Yeah. I said, oh, we're, 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 we haven't thought of this. Yeah. Oh, well, you need to think of it, you know what I mean? They said, well, go away and think about it. When I heard there was a secret call, David played and it pleased him all. You don't really care for music, too loud. Well, it goes like this, the fourth and fifth. Might have fallen the major lift. Better for the king Santa's on the naughty list. Uh, we'll catch up in January, yeah? Yeah. Come round for dinner. Oh, that was sweet. We'll get some booze. Dave, let me give you a big old. Let me give you a big old, pal. Let me give you a big old. Merry Christmas, pal. Thank you for everything. Do you see the way you let, you let me get right up yeah. there? Well done, well done. No, no, obviously I made it come round for dinner with me and Lydia and get some boots. Oh, that's sweet. No worries. Cheers, I'll see you in January. Yeah, I'll enjoy. Bye. Enjoy. 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 Enjo
Yeah, my name's Mally Well then. Uh, I'm 56 years of age. I feel like a 30 year old. Love life. Mm. Love it. Absolutely love what I'm doing. Uh, but not, not, more, more knockbacks than uh, Frank Bruno in life. But got back up again. And always got back up. Uh, always looking for the next business idea. Always looking. Playtime. <laughs> You've got to have fun. You're gonna have fun, you know.